Hi ladies, you're welcome back to another video I film about fashion, beauty, lifestyle. On today's episode, I'll be sharing with you all how to look rich and command respect. I've once talked about how to look rich and not once, severally I've talked about how to look rich but people don't know that it's not enough to look rich. You should also be able to command respect because I've seen a lot of people who put up a wealthy appearance and at the end of the day, nobody even values them. They are treated as nuisance and non-entities. So I don't want us to be people with such experiences. I want you to be ladies or people who are able to command respect even without saying a word. When you get to a place where you grace an environment, your very presence gives you some kind of respect. Your presence attracts some kind of honor, okay? This is how you can look rich and command some respect to yourself. The first one is talk less. The first way to command respect to yourself, even while you are richly dressed, is to talk less. People of affluence, people of wealth, people of elegance are not lousy people. They are not noisy. They are not people that their presence is made known by the way they talk or by their speech you know i want you ladies or gentlemen whoever is watching to be able to command respect by your quietness you know there is this type of quietness that speaks volume from my lifestyle i've noticed that people who are very quiet of course not everybody is going to be quiet this is not so saying that if you are the talking type you should become quiet but what i am saying is minimize your speak your speech minimize your level of always wanting to be noticed talk less even if you are naturally a talkative i know that nobody is born talkative so from my lifestyle i discovered that people find me interesting because i'm not always the type that will talk except if i'm super comfortable with you i'm not the type that you always hear her voice anytime you are around me you pass by my voice is the loudest a lot of people consider me very very quiet even though i don't think i'm quiet and that makes many people find me attractive talk less even the bible says that even the fool when he is quiet is considered wise so even if you don't have literally any good idea in a meeting and you are just quiet trust me a lot of people will not let that meeting go closed until you are given a chance to say something be like girl you've been quiet all this while what do you have to say concerning this just try it to command respect keep more talk less avoid the urge to always express yourself verbally you can express yourself there are many ways to express yourself you can use non-verbal communication you can talk with rolling your eyes with <laughs> with a smile <laughs> You know, there are many ways to talk. I have done a video on that as well. A exclamation, how to express yourself without saying anything. Just, I have tons of videos and playlists on this channel that you can binge on and get yourself refined, okay? There are many ways you can express yourself without saying a word. Another way you can command respect to yourself is to be a silent achiever. A lot of rich people, they don't announce their goals to the world. They just go ahead to achieve it. If you to command respect chase your goals and your dreams silently don't come announcing to the world what you intend to do let people see the results okay let your results speak for itself not your announcement your announcement you never can tell who hates you and people will always get to know Be like mm, she always tells us what she wants to do and at the end there is a spirit there is something that always hinders goals once you have said it about it it's really not recommendable okay keep your goals to yourself keep your purpose and visions and aspirations to yourself and let your success speak for itself that way you command respect people just see you succeeding without knowing how i remember somebody once telling me why back in school i didn't have friends i was i would just i was friendly with everybody i'll just greet and go my way and by the time the result came out i cleared my papers i had one of the best cgpas and she came to me a friend somebody i would consider a friend came to me and said wow i just like the fact that you are a silent achiever in the class i hardly contribute i hardly say a thing when the lecturer is talking <laughs> i was just as i said i was not the loud type even those who don't know will be so noisy in the class and i was just not everywhere i was just by myself 
yourself and by the time the result comes out you see me who was not the noisy type having the best result another secret to commanding respect or any honor of people making them see you as someone who is rich wealthy affluent is to ghost people yeah 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 look i've tried this two part of life i've had the times when i was in everybody's face and they were literally tired of me you could see it in their attitude and i was trying to be of help to those people you could see that they were getting bored that is the honest truth about human beings they will get bored of you they'll get tired and then i got to a point in my life where i was like you know what let me mind my business i don't care about who this person it's not like i don't really care i care but i don't want to know anymore let me just focus on myself I wasn't picking their calls, going to their houses, trying to find out their next move or telling them my next move. I ghosted them and trust you me, it made me one step ahead of them because when they saw me, they didn't know how to deal with me or how to hurt me. Ghosting people is very good. Trust me. I know that a lot of people have said don't ghost. If people ghost you as well, take it in good faith. Also see that they need to advance in a particular part of their lives. And in fact, I even stopped being angry with people for ghosting me. You have to learn to clear yourself off people's faces. Avoid the urge, the desire to always be in people's faces. If you're always on people's faces, they get bored, they get tired of you. But when you go most people, they will literally be hungry to want to be around you. They will be hungry to hear from you. So start ghosting people. That way you command respect and give an impression that you're making progress and you're a person of affluence. Another way to command respect from people is to dress simple. Trust me, I dislike when people are overdressed. Eyeshadow, there are so many palettes, different colors and eyes. And then the nails does not fit with the outfit. Everything is just to notice me, notice me, notice me kind of vibe. I dislike it. If you want to command respect from people, look as simple as possible. This is not saying that you shouldn't dress well, but make your dress seem portable. Simplicity pays when you are simple. Who is this? She's so beautiful. Let's see other aspects of you. Let's see your beautiful eyes, your beautiful smile, your beautiful lips, your beautiful nose. Like you are beautifully endowed in this life that clothing should not cover those other beautiful parts okay don't overdress just should not be too dramatic okay it's okay sometimes you'll be dramatic like today i consider myself being dramatic with my outfit and even at this i'll still say that i'm simple despite that i am being dramatic to some extent i will still consider myself very simple another way to command respect from people is to mind your business minding your business means minding your business stay off people's cases stop prognosing stop trying to find out the evil that is going on in people's life because most people who don't mind their business they're not trying to wish other people well they're not trying to find out how they're pressing in life they are basically trying to find out in which aspect those people have failed just so they make themselves feel good or feel better if you are the type that feels good that people are failing then you're a witch you are not a good person and you may likely not progress in life so but when you stay focused on your goals people will respect you because you're just minding your business when they're looking for who said that this person said that that person said you will not be at the top list be like no she's busy we hardly hear from her even on your social media page you are not dramatic you are not troublesome i'm not saying that we are africans here yeah? for those of us who are africans it's natural to have that dramatic side of you but it is stupid to always put it on display you have to learn to balance your life and not just the blacks so no matter how dramatic you are you should know when to bring out that side of you and you should know when to bottle it up stay off people's cases don't want to know who is getting divorced don't want to know in fact i don't want to know the bad things going on in people's life because i'm literally the type that i care so much about and before you know i'll start thinking of oh how am i going to help how am i going to support try not to want to know and in a bit to want to help or support that person some of them will not take it the way you're taking it they'll be like oh is that what she has actually been waiting for was she waiting for a time like this so she will show me that she's better than me people are evil people have bad hearts i've learned that no matter what happens in people's life if they don't invite me to their cases i don't bring myself up that way you command respect another way to earn respect from who is to build your vocabulary building vocabulary is not just enough to dress expensive and then somebody hears you talking and you're looking unrefined and unpolished it's not just about english if it is your dialect 
speak it in a way that people will be like mm, you understand the language even from where i come from i am nigerian our traditional languages there's a way you speak it and people will be like please shut up it's better you don't even talk than to speak the language because you are not showing that you know the language and you are spoiling the language you're polluting it be it english be it any language build vocabulary on that language whatever language you believe or you want to or build on ensure to always develop vocabularies in such language and one of the ways to build vocabulary is to read when you read a lot it helps your fluency of speech expression and building your vocabulary develop the habit of reading it's going to help you vocabulary. that way you command respect don't always have same words for everything build words let there be enough words that you can use to express yourself and the final one for today if you want to earn respect avoid too much of you know, <laughs> as crazy as it may sound, you won't end respect. I was talking to a lady some time ago. I was so angry to the point that I was I was doing like this. I was doing like this to her, talking to her, and I was like this. And next thing she said to me is, please stop pointing at me. I had to caution myself. Show the level that I've let my guard loose. Her telling me to stop pointing at me felt was disrespectful. And that was deserving because I over gesticulated. If just imagine I stood like this and I was talking to her and I said whatever I want to say, she would take me more seriously. But doing like this to her even made it look more childish. So gesticulate less. Let your hand movement not be so much. Because if it's so much, you distract your audience. Not just that you distract your audience. It makes you look childish. You don't command respect. And people would not even know what it's like. You're trying too hard to express yourself. So don't try too hard. Let your gesticulation be as minimal as possible. I'm not saying you should not gesticulate. But one part of your body should do the gesticulation at the same time. Either your head movement, your shoulders, your hands. But let it be one part of your body at a time. Not your giving head, your giving body, your giving everything. You know, I understand that some people naturally are like that. But if you truly want to command respect, like you want people to treasure you, to honor you literally when they hear you talk, then you have to minimize your use of gestures. So let me know other ways you can command respect from people aside looking classy and expensive in your appearance. Behavioral wise, how else can you command respect? Let me know in the comment section. If you're not subscribed up till now, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications and like this video, comment, um, all those good stuff i love you all so much and i'll see you in the next one keep being elegant and classy till the next one bye for now